We sometimes sense emotions left behind in a place. Our brains are incredibly good at picking up subtle cues in the environment. Sounds, smells, lighting, and even the way objects are arranged help recreate the emotional atmosphere. Humans are naturally empathetic and intuitive. When we enter a room where strong emotions were once expressed, we subconsciously read the clues that remain. A tense conversation might leave objects slightly out of place. Furniture angled differently, or an unusual stillness in the air can be telling. Our brains interpret these details instantly, often before we're consciously aware of them. The energy of a space is influenced by our memories and associations. If a location reminds us of past experiences, our minds project those feelings back onto the present moment. It can feel like the room itself is holding on to emotions. Even temperature, air pressure, and lighting affect mood. Dim or stale air can feel heavy and sad. Bright or echoing spaces may seem anxious or unsettled. We're also sensitive to social memory. Places where many people have gathered tend to carry emotional weight. Our brains know these places host major life events. Additionally, humans instinctively try to predict whether an environment is safe. We scan for emotional residue the same way we scan for physical danger. When something feels off, it's usually our subconscious picking up environmental signals. This combination of intuition, perception, and memory makes it feel as though emotions linger in the air. In reality, it's our remarkable ability to read subtle reminders of human presence that allows us to sense the emotional fingerprints left behind in a place.